Hey guys, it's me, Tantacles. This is a brief guide to Chrono Cross's Grand Slam. The Grand Slam is the only way to recruit Janice, and it gives you some amazing items as well. However, a bunch of my viewers have told me that they found it difficult to complete. If you're a Janice stan or just have to have every character, this guide is for you. You can access the Grand Slam right after you complete the events on the SS Zelbis and get access to Marvule's Sage. However, you probably won't be able to beat it right away unless you've done some work beforehand. Janice is your opponent, and she fields a total of nine monsters against you in a series of three rounds, three monsters per round. But here is why the battle might not be as easy as it might seem. Number one, Janice cheats. Her monsters have much more health than their original incarnations, and they can do more attacks in one turn than you can do. And number two, you have to field monsters that you've captured with Sprig against Janice. Now, you can use any monster that Sprig has captured for transformation. And unless you've captured a bunch of monsters for Sprig before you fight Janice in the Grand Slam, you are not going to win. Although, if you figured out a way to win with the original monsters, please leave me a comment, because I would love to showcase that. And if you want to know how to capture monsters with Sprig, you can see my Sprig guide, the companion guide to this video. It's linked above and in the description. Now, if you've made it this far, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more Chrono Cross content. Enough said. Now, there are hundreds of ways to win the Grand Slam, but I'm going to give you the easiest way to win early. I mentioned you need to capture monsters, and if you capture just monsters that are available to you right when you have the Grand Slam available to you, you can win right away. So let's go through round by round. The first round of the Grand Slam is not bad. You basically need one strong monster to get through this, and I recommend you use Airframe. You can find Airframe at the Isle of the Damned, and he is available even before you go to the Grand Slam. Along with it, I suggest that you field Bulb and Wraith. Start the battle by attacking Biba with your Bulb. Once you have the right element level, cast Carnivore. If you've gotten to this point, you've basically won. Airframe can take out everything else. Now for the second round, you can beat the entire group with Lagoonate. The best default allies for him are probably Snib Goblin for curing, and your third party member does not really matter. For the third round, I suggest that you capture White Knight from Isle of the Damned. Details for catching this monster are of course in my Sprig Guide. If you field White Knight and literally anything else, White Knight will kill everything with no issues. If you missed White Knight, I suggest that you capture two enemies. Number one is Spearfisher from the Underground Waterway. It comes a little bit later, but he's very strong. He can cure and cast Vigora. I would also recommend that you capture Cybot from Fort Dragonia. This should completely wreck the enemies in this battle. Tragedy Anne in the Dead Sea is also a good choice. Tragedy Anne has three level six elements and can really do a lot of damage to the enemies in this battle. Hey, it's Tantacles during editing. I forgot to mention Total Chaos, which is in the Dimensional Vortex. I used it in the final battle with Tragedy Anne to basically completely wreck everything. So that's just another easy option that you can get passively while you're going through the game. And that's it. If you think I missed something, please feel free to leave a comment and I will add missing details to a pinned comment. Bye-bye, see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe.